What are three words you would use to describe your culture? Strong, kind, and vibrant. Food, family, celebrations. Distant, curious, and loving. Could you please tell me why you chose these words? All my life, I've thought Kurdish people were so kind, even within family. We're always offering each other tea or money if someone really needs it um, or anything. We, I just noticed that we try to be really considerate. Um, also in our community, our, our pride is really strong. Kurdish people are stateless. We have no country, but they've been fighting for it for a really long time. I remember every year at Noros, we would go to the park and sing almost everyone in Kurdish clothing, flags, music. Everywhere is a really great thing to see. And I have not met one Kurdish person who hates their culture. And then with vibrant, I think it kind of plays in with kind. As people, I think we are very vibrant and have vibrant personalities. Sometimes when I go to the Arabic store, I just like being there for simply being around other Middle Eastern people. I observe others respectfully and their interactions, and I don't know, it just makes me feel really good. Culture-wise, if you come to any Kurdish event, like Noros or even a wedding, the clothing is just so bright and beautiful. I think it's something everyone should experience. Men heli nar hat misham, vaktaki balad nistam farsi bohale haf mizanam. Vakti migim kordim bazia mi porsan. کی کجا یا همه یک نواخت مقایسه می کنن. ما همه کردیم ولی زبانمون فرق داره یکم بعضیا بعضیامون تو ایران عراق ترکیه یا سوریه زندگی می کنیم یا کشورهای دیگه زندگی می کنیم به خاطر این کشوری به خصوص نداریم تا بگیم این کشور ماست خب به خاطر این که این مردم در مورد ما نمیدونن وقتی میپرسن ما توضیح میدیم زیاد در مورد کردان نمیدونن Growing up I would always be drawing and I still do When I look back on all my old art all my characters were blue eye and light skinned I used to dislike being brown and my art reflected that School cliques and groups did not have room for a Persian girl. People like me were never represented in the media. It wasn't until high school where I found Asian and Solana Club and was able to be a part of a community. My art displayed this progress that I made too. I started painting people with olive skin like myself and although I'm still on my journey and learning about my own identity, I was able to make progress because of this club. I do wish that schools, especially at younger ages, showed more about Swana culture to help people realize, oh, this isn't so different and abnormal and prevent racism overall for these communities. Um, there is progress being made, but it can always be better. And I am finally proud to say that I am Persian and Kurdish and love my culture.